day 11. Man, I hope that guy in the radio tower isn't waiting for me. Been boots on the ground for 11 days. I feel like I've gotten nowhere, but at least I found a way to fight this cold. I heard a helicopter overhead the other day. I thought about going out, but there's no way they'd land here anyway. Probably wouldn't even see me. Decided to just cut my losses and keep safe. Safe and sound inside is probably the only way we get through this. Would only end up more chaotic than it needs to be. I found a magazine for a portable heater a few days back. Looks like it could be a great way to keep warm on the road. Knowing I'm surviving this journey, just what I've got anyway. Got a few plans over the next few days. Gigamart, bookstore, water. More or less in that order. I need to get some food or I'll starve to death. Also need to get some water and dehydrate again. To death. Both feel like pretty impossible tasks with the amount of zeds lurking, but we'll see what we can do. Books are just gonna take my mind off going cold turkey. Got maybe 30 smokes left. I don't wanna be addicted and hung out to dry with nothing left. Cold sweats and restless nights only last a few weeks, right? Anyway, we're losing light. Time to get to work. Welcome back to Project on Board. Storm here, and today we are kicking off putting out our fire and heading straight on out. So between episodes, I haven't really done much. I literally cleaned up this tiny little area just here. Got rid of the bodies, you know, got it a little bit more homely. These ones are slowly decomposing, so I'm not too stressed about those. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a busy few days and it's probably gonna be an even busier day today. I'm desperate for food and just like that, we have zero hope of getting any. Wonderful. My only kind of hope is getting to the Gigamart, which, yeah, seeing this now, don't really feel like we stand too much of a chance. So we're currently on day 12, just coming into day 12. I think we're maybe on, like, day 7 without cigarettes, and I believe it goes between, sort of, 3 and 4 weeks. So yeah, we've got, got a good few weeks left to go, so anxiousness is going to be through the roof. Uh, rest of sleep is still going to be going strong, and yeah, we're we're kind of not looking that great. These zeds are sort of the ice on the cake for that. But yeah, we're we're, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. So it's minus 35, and we're slowly warming up, which is just unreal, really. So I mean, definitely helps that we're busy as much as we are. But yeah, still kind of didn't expect to see it. But yeah, we're doing all right. We're almost level 2 electrical, we haven't found the manual for the smaller portable heaters that require level 3 electrical, so we've got a long way to go yet, but yeah, I think once we find that, build our little heater and get out of it, the story should start to unfold, but until then, kind of got a lot of zeds to deal with, a hell of a lot, it's a big old crowd, there is a knife in there, but I'm not very confident on it. Long blunt pushing its way to level two, and we are now freezing cold, which means big swings are not going to be coming in too hot. See, so yeah, I should probably avoid that group like the plague, really. Wonderful. All right, maybe, 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 maybe. No way have we caught more attention already. We have. Uh, either way, let's just get out of this cold for a sec. Yeah, so even, even just being in there. Even just being in there is enough to warm us up, which is nice. Yeah, we've got 60 hours of fuel in there. Plenty to fall back to. I just need to get myself in gear. Get on over to the Gigamart. So I'm kind of tempted to just lure all of those Zeds out. To be fair, there's not a ton. There's enough to be a problem with the way the weather is, but not really enough enough to be too much of a threat, if you know what I mean. Ah, yeah, that is. That absolutely is. Oh, come on. Can we get a... Nope. No, I've just got three Zeds on their feet rather than two. Yep, 
Beautiful. Oh, I want that pancake mix. And the brown sugar. Very good, very nice. Chips. Okay, we've got a tiny bit to keep us going for a day or two. Not a ton, I know, but better than nothing, that's for sure. Anything else we could take? Not really worth that. Tell you what, though. Definitely break down the bed, get a few more nails. We only needed a hammer for that. Unless you put the saw away straight away, but I don't remember him doing that. Oh well, there you go. Learn something new every day. Now, I kind of wouldn't mind getting some spears on the go as well. Spears are an absolute game changer. Whoa. Sorry, my lady. I was not expecting to see you there. Also, wasn't really expecting to see all of those guys there. It's our sneaking looking like. Pretty good. Okay, yeah, starting to think this probably wasn't the best way to go. <laughs> no, it's gonna be risky. No, I'm just gonna try and use this bit window to my advantage as much as humanly possible. Just like that, we gotta go. Alright, there is a lot of food in there though. Nice. That's all I need to know. There's one unbarred door behind us. A little bit scary. Oh Christ. And a hell of a herd to follow. for a better, better little run there. Alright, what we got? Cordless drill. Actually gonna take. I don't know if you guys have seen the power of a cordless drill, but it's simply unreal. Tell you what you have seen, there's the power of being stuck in a tight little store. Using these tables to our advantage. Pushing through where we can. What are we with short blade? Slowly getting there. Ah, come on. Is this too big of a herd to take in a tiny little shop? Maybe. Am I going to give it a whirl anyway? Absolutely. Let's get half of that down as... It's alright lad, no rush. <laughs> it's not like... Not that like we have hundreds of Zeds in our tail or anything. You're all good. Can we get a... Damn it. Didn't go down. Don't even think about getting grabbed here, boy. I kind of feel like for every Z we take down we're gaining two at the minute, which isn't exactly ideal. That's kind of the opposite of what I want actually. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this this ain't gonna work out, is it? Let's be honest. Power of the cordless drill is not shining through today. Yeah, I think we should cut our losses. Get out whilst we can. Alright. Last little run, and then we can go. Nah, screw it. Let's get out of here before it's too late. And that is exactly what I mean by too late. Exhaustion's setting in. Zed's creeping up behind us. Let's go. That's a very nice truck. That's a truck I will get my hands on. Maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow. But one day. Ah, oh, I think they're all boxed up inside. get their attention a bit more. Easy does it. Oh, well, done pretty well there. I'll take that all day long. Kinda wanna get down there and rest though. Maybe just do it outside. Feel that cold air kicking in, but should be good. Once we get moving, we'll be alright. As soon as we get inside, we'll be alright, to be fair. Clothes are pretty well insulated. Oh, get out of here. That's a hell of a stretch. Brilliant. Now, I'm just going to leave that on the ground for a minute. You've handled worse than this. There we go. Get your push back. Bring it in. There we go. I should have another base with that on me. There we go. This will always bring it back up. Now I get questioned for it way too often. That's why. Sometimes it'll save your life. Other times it'll weigh you down. Kind of got to find the balance between the two. I was hoping for a cheeky chin stab, but it's all good. Oh, nice. No, two in there. Is there a book in here? No. If taking out the broken glass would bring them towards me. No. Can play the game a bit though. Confidence is key. Confidence is key. Hopefully they just keep banging, maybe not. It's not overconfidence. Overconfidence will get you killed. There we go. A lally job. Ah, crust. Yeah, I see that one sneaking behind me. And got a little bit spooked. There we go. Quoted shirt to replace. 
turtleneck sleeveless or a denim shirt which one does better denim shirt is pretty well insulated or round neck sweater is slightly less insulated compared to this which is <laughs> worse than the pair of them okay that's a pointless exercise any watches for the man Hey up, fella. Ah, oh, one thing I did want to try. I had this comment last season, I think. Disassemble these, but we can't. That's okay. So yeah, some things, well, a lot of things, you can't actually disassemble by right-clicking. You have to go into that menu. And yeah, that's, that's, that's what that little test was about. Ah, you dog. You dog. So if you go down. I don't know where that herd came from outside, but I do not look happy. Come on. You're so close. Easy does it. Hey, love a maintenance level. And boink, see ya. Did spot those uh, vitamins too. Take a key whilst we're here. Maybe not. No, <laughs> she gone. There's no doors anyway. All right, what can we take? Farabar at the squirrel, of course. Nothing in the school bag. You know what? All food is good food right now. That's not really food. Handy for jarring, but we currently aren't jarring. No water bottles though. Kind of a little bit disappointed about that. Anything in the school bag? The rice, since we're boiling so much water, be a shame to waste. Tired now too. That ain't good, son. Chickpeas and the rice, absolutely. Double down on those calories, I'll tell you that. Yeah, should also be a ton in the back room, but we can save all of those tins for a rainy day, I reckon. I'm not leaving any of this behind, I'm just kind of prioritising. I always thought the sardines were point 0.3. I guess it's just a tuna. Ramen noodles. Chips. Can eat those on the road. Nah, let's just break all of this down, I reckon. Can we not disassemble the toaster? No. That's a shame. White lamp, we can absolutely do. Man, those guys outside are not happy at all, are they? Alright, what have we got that we don't need? Because I'm currently a little bit overweight. Electronics, battery to the bag, and you to the belt. Maybe not. Alright, I guess now. Now we just gotta fight our way home. So have one little browse around here. Anything. Found a few machetes in here. It's half the reason I'm just having a quick sneak peek. Couple of sacks, that'll be well handy. Get some indoor farming going. Yeah, you know, that's actually not a bad idea. If I can get my hands on a shovel or a trowel. Uses up a hell of a lot of water, but only means we've got a stockpile a bit, doesn't it? 
Yeah, nothing. Speaking of, be no harm collecting up some garbage bags just for future reference and all that. Okay. Keep your strawberries, keep your apples. Get me out of here. To find another garbage bag in there, don't I? Probably in the bin. Yeah. That'll do it. Alright, I'm gonna probably make a meal out of getting home, I reckon. Don't think it's gonna go too smoothly, but a boy can dream. I reckon we just go out the window we came in. Just know that's gonna get quite late and I'm gonna need that fire. That's the last thing I wanna be scrounging for at like 3, 4 a.m. Pitch black. It's dark as it is. Fire truck. Don't even know what I'm bothering. Just go. Just go. One first aid kit. Not even an axe. I believe we are straight through here and over the fence. Let's just do this the nice simple way. Sorry, I know it's like pitch black right now. I'd love to get the the flashlight out, but struggling <laughs> struggling with a two-handed weapon is enough. Alright, let's hope that no one catches wind of that. And let's sit by the fire, maybe cook up some pasta, and then go to bed. I reckon that's the way to do it. Bucket of water. Ah, we're probably going to need a saucepan for that, aren't we? Do have a saucepan. Question is where? Probably upstairs in the cupboard. Or could have done one better and left it behind. Again, very likely. Saucepan, there we go. So a sauce, vegetable oil, and one little fair bit to keep our duck happy. There you go, boy. Ah, there we go. Much better. Ah, brilliant. Be worth dealing with that before it gets out of hand. Do the smart thing here too. There we go. Nice and quiet. See you, son. Alright, let's go. Go make some nice pasta. Place rice. Add a vegetable oil. Surely I can put some sort of food in there, you know what I mean? Like split peas or dried lentils, anything. Canned peas or potato. There we go. Fresh uncooked. Wow, we can change that. Very nice. Uh, that's going to be breakfast, I think. I'm going to get some sleep. So we're currently, currently very tired and still pretty warm. If I can hold on to that, maybe get a good night's sleep, then more than ideal. I'll see you guys bright and early. All right, we've had a hell of a day. We've pretty much been sick from start to finish. It's not been, not been good at all. Probably wasted half. Half of my fuel has gone straight into that fire today ridiculous but we're alive and i guess i guess you can't really put a price on that can you so i think what i'm going to try and do is just wait out as much of the night as i can not only it's going to be cold so i can hold on to that fuel but it's kind of the only option i've got really but yeah i mean we'll see how we go 
So I think I think I'm gonna waste the day, get a good night's sleep, and then yeah, probably go from tomorrow. I reckon it's probably the best idea I've got. I'm incredibly sweaty, nervous wreck, all of the above. A smoker trait is a killer. Don't recommend it for this kind of playthrough, but yeah, that's what we got. I did also make a drill plank as well. Doesn't really seem to be working out too well. But it is quite fun to try. <laughs> yes, yeah, really, really. Hey, there we go. I was going to say, this really is not good, but you get there in the end. How much do these sturdy sticks do? Exactly the same as a plank. That's fine. That's all good. I can at least get rid of six of them. But yeah, I'm going to wait out the rest of the day and kind of just see how we go, I reckon. I've got a little bit of an early morning kip. So it seems to be seems to be doing quite well now. So I'm just going to play the game a bit. I think, first things first, I need to prioritise water. Kind of hoping one of the neighbours still has some. I um, also need to dump as much food as I can. Definitely haven't done it already, no. So then I can't use that little foot rest thing. The console, I believe they're called. But yeah, the dump as much food as I don't need. Maybe, maybe take a tiny bit for the road. A couple of bags of chips. Gummy bears, all in. Just anything that we can kind of not really use, live without, I guess. Uh, what level do we need to build a crate? Oh, we could build one. Be quite nice to have one maybe next to the fire, as well as something over this side. Yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out when we get home. Right now though, water. Water is priority number one. Uh, have we got the bucket? I believe we do. Leave that down here too. Oh, I'm just carrying so much crap for no reason. So I did take off all of the bandages just to try and relieve a bit of that sickness and see what's going on. But yeah, it turns out we were just sick. Not really ideal. Not going to need four batteries. Might keep one spare. Just in case, like, empty bucket is in. Thank God. So I might actually just leave that behind. Oh, just just drop it. So now this this works. Ah, place, of course. All right, water. Priority number one. Easy. <laughs> I literally just need enough to fill a touch of a bottle. Uh, I guess we have got pop. Perfect. Dump that on a Z on the way out. There you go, pal. Alright, we've cleared this house entirely. There's a nice little propane barbecue, so we can get a good night's sleep if we want one. This house can be option number two. Pretty much almost filled up a bucket already. That is very nice. And yeah, we've done done all of that stuff. Just a can of dog food left on the side, but we're not going to worry about that too much. And I guess... We need a little map marker for stuff that we've cleared, but... Still has bits left, if you know what I mean, so that's completely dead. Hmm. I guess... Maybe a circle. Tick is fully looted. Circle is broken down. Cross is completely empty. Yeah, that works. 
that works. I'm definitely going to forget that. Give it like, I don't know, four episodes. <laughs> Come back and be like, what was this circus for? Why didn't I just cross it off? But yeah, that, it, it will make sense. It makes sense in time. Just need to get all of the beds. Any, well, just anything half decent that can go, really. Carpentry is king. And also the lamps. Pencil is quite nice too. But yeah, we're mainly on a, a nail, carpentry, and uh, water run. Actually, wouldn't mind getting another door on the front too. Could always do that. Is that a journal or a notebook? Notebook. Journals are lighter and have like 20 pages in. Well worth taking. Carpentry level four. That's a very nice planter. I wouldn't mind having one of those. Ah. Well, we're at the end of the road. At least this side is done, which means we can get some sleep and probably call it a day. You know, we've got our sleep heads going down. That's always a good sign. But yeah, we've got our water, finally. Just need to light the fire. Hey, nailed it. Well impressed. Water. Need to see what we need for a rain collector. Furniture, rain collector barrel, level four, four garbage bags. That's next episode's job. For now, I'm going to love you and leave you just here, I think. We'll call it a day whilst we're on a high. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to members supporting the channel. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.